And how does that play out, right? Because you jumped back into a very entrepreneurial kind of a role, even after coming back from the sabbatical. So after the sabbatical and from this period of, like you said, that developing yourself or building that confidence on your own, how was the, the journey different, right? Before the entrepreneurship, before you went on the sabbatical and after you came back, if you can reflect on any one or two changes that you could see. Sure. I just think it opened up my horizons, right? Earlier, I was maybe just thinking about, hey, there's this one business to build. And like, now I was just thinking about SaaS is the only way to build things. And within SaaS, enterprise software is the only way to build things. That's what I know. But I feel after the sabbatical, just reflecting on things, I just opened myself to like a lot more things. See, this is maybe not the only thing I want to do in life. Sure, after the sabbatical, I went back and did that. But I think it gave me the confidence that it try, try new things, like do new things. Even in business, I don't have to have this one skill and constantly keep reaping the rewards of that for the next 30, 40 years of my life when I work. Sure, it, it might be great rewards financially mm-hmm. because hey, I'll become the expert in this or whatever, but did not seem like a very fun way to live a life. So right now also, now right now the company that we are running, it makes lesser revenue that like than what Fusion Starts did. But building games is like such an intellectual challenge and it's like a very different thing that we're doing. And again, like revenue-wise, what we're building right now, it might change completely in a year because the games are this completely different business which can go from 0 to 100 million within a year or two 